David Hogg felt right at home on Saturday as he appeared in Boston's Gay Pride Parade. The diminutive teenager, who made his way into the national spotlight by stepping over the bodies of his dead classmates as he became an activist for gun control, was there for a reason that deviated from what he claims to be fighting for. David Hogg, photo credit, Paul Murata, Getty Images, it is not surprising that the 18-year-old who represents the beta male image of the American progressives was comfortable at the Boston Pride Parade. But what is surprising is the reason Hogg went to the event. He has stated for months that he does not want to be a political figure and that he is fighting for the lives of kids by attempting to take guns from the hands of law-abiding American citizens. As ridiculous as that idea is, you could at least admire him for his efforts if he had any intellectual honesty. However, Hogg is a charlatan who has used the deaths of his fellow classmates and faculty at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, to place himself in the spotlight as the New Age Democrat activist. That is why it is infuriating that Hogg was not at the Boston Pride event to talk about gun control, and he was not even there to support gay people or declare himself a gay person, which no one is accusing him of being. Hogg went to Boston in order to push the fight for a $15 minimum wage. What does a $15 an hour minimum wage have to do with the fight for gun control? It has nothing to do with it, but if you believed Hogg cared about gun control for any other reason than for his own personal gain in the Democratic Party, then you have been fooling yourself. Hogg is about nothing more than making himself a celebrity and, potentially, a politician in the future. Hogg bragged about attending the event. Another photo showed Hogg posing for photos with others at the parade. Amphibuston stands for the Boston chapter of the March for Our Lives, a group Hogg helped to found. So many kind and amazing people today at Thank you for everything you do and helping us build a safe and accepting future, he wrote in another tweet. I met so many kind and amazing people today at Thank you for everything you do and helping us build a safe and accepting future. David Hogg at David Hogg 111, June 9, 2018 People who met Hogg at the Boston Pride Parade took to Twitter and acted as if they had just met Elvis Presley. Y'all I just walked right by David Hogg and I am totally starstruck, one user named Krista wrote. Y'all I just walked right by David Hogg and I am totally starstruck. White Flag Rainbow I am so glad to have run into you, because you are a reminder that we are all stronger together, a Twitter user named Brady said. At David Hogg 111 you were one of the many inspiring people I met during. I am so glad to have run into you, because you are a reminder that we are all stronger together. HTTPS colon slash slash t.co slash 5t4 pag 782z, Brady. At Watch You 712, June 11, 2018, if awkwardly proclaiming, you're amazing, to at David Hogg 111 in the middle of the. But another user, named Jamuri829, asked an interesting question. Makes you wonder who's funding at David Hogg 111 and company. He said he can't get into college. Makes you wonder who's funding at David Hogg 111 and company. He said he can't get into college. Politics is all spectacle and I hate it, he wrote. Politics is all spectacle and I hate it. David Hogg at David Hogg 111, June 11, 2018 is he hitting. Has anyone this year made more of a spectacle of themselves than Hogg? Has. And nothing says, I don't like spectacles, more than appearing at a gay pride parade and promoting a minimum wage raise. 
Facebook has greatly reduced the distribution of our stories in our readers' news feeds and is instead promoting mainstream media sources. When you share on social media, however, you greatly help distribute our content. Please take a moment and consider sharing this article with your friends and family. Thank you.